Vancouver Heights are trying to figure out how a man in a stolen BMW caused this fiery crash. The crash hurt six people, and one of them remains in critical condition tonight. A police officer also got hurt in a different crash just before this. New Center 7's Mike Campbell got hold of 911 calls that give us a better idea of what led up to the flames. The crash happened here on Bramp Pike in Huber Heights, and still a day later, you can see the evidence of how high speed the impact was, the scarred pavement from the fire that resulted. Uh, all of a sudden, just heard a loud bang. Sound like an explosion. People working at nearby businesses told me the initial sound of the collision had them headed outside to check, but they kept hearing explosion-type noises. Heard another one, then another one. Then another one. Brian Oliver told me all of the follow-up booms were created by a fire that sparked shortly after the high-speed crash. When I walked outside, it was just fully engulfed. When I looked at, you know, that way, it was just fully engulfed. And people were screaming and hollering. You know. Oliver said even as paramedics pulled up to help people injured in the crash and burned by the flames, the explosions kept coming. I mean, there was even explosions while he was walking towards the vehicle to put out the fire. Huber Heights police told us six people in the four cars were involved in the crash. They did not name the at-fault driver, but we uncovered Montgomery County jail records that indicated they arrested this man, 27-year-old Corey Harbarger, on several suspected crimes. Police did tell us it appears that the driver of a white BMW that was reported stolen was first spotted by Montgomery County deputies on 75 North after he supposedly hit someone. There is a white car swerving in and out of traffic about to cause an accident. Heber Heights police told us they then received calls about the BMW on 70 eastbound, even after the driver went right up behind one of their officers already on the freeway. Almost struck the cruiser that was in the left lane. That officer radioed that that individual had tried to strike him. Lieutenant Brian Carr said that officer turned on his sirens and lights, but with the high speed, the man was already about to exit onto Brant Pike. He said the BMW's driver caused the four car crash moments later leaving one innocent driver critically injured from the resulting fire. Just feel bad for the guy who got injured that bad, you know, in that right. truck. Huber Heights police say the driver of that BMW actually endangered everyone else that was on this road. They're still working to see exactly how fast he was going, and when they complete their entire investigation, they'll consult with prosecutor's office about potential charges. In Huber Heights, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. A very special 